conservationists are celebrating the hatching of the first chuff chick in Kent since Victorian times. The new arrival is a result of a scheme launched in March to reintroduce the bird to the county with which it has a long association. It's featured on the Canterbury coat of arms. Yes, but the chuff actually became extinct in the southeast 160 years ago. It's a member of the crow family, but they have distinctive red bills and red legs. And they're also marvellous acrobatic flyers. Apparently, pairs take part in synchronised displays as part of their make mating ritual. Chrissy Reedy reports. Just a few days old. These are the first chuff chicks to hatch in Kent for 160 years. I checked the nest two weeks ago today, uh, and there's three chicks and an unhatched egg. And then every day since, I've been checking, taking a little video and checking the nest. Um, and yeah, they're doing really well. I'm really pleased. Conservationists have been working towards this moment for the past 10 years. Getting chuff back in Kent, it's a flagship. What it tells us is if we can restore chuff, the land itself is better for nature, so we get to see chuffs back in the county. Part of the crow family, it was originally persecuted and driven out by farming methods. The Chaff has a long-standing association with Kent, but especially here in Canterbury, as wherever you look, the side of buildings or window panes, there is a strong reference to the birds scattered throughout the city. The coat of arms, the civic sword, the historic charter, all going back to stories about the murdered Archbishop Thomas Beckett. Well, the legend goes that following his murder, which must have been a rather messy occasion, the birds flew into the cathedral and got some of his blood on their legs and now we have um, the red legs on our badge. It's very much Canterbury's special bird. We're very proud of it and delighted to hear that new chicks have been born. There's still a long way to go but it's hoped these chicks will form part of a new generation of chuff that will take to the skies once again across Kent. Chrissy Reedy, BBC Southeast Today, Hearn.